Today, I turned 25. For breakfast, my boyfriend made his first pot rice, which I'm so proud of him for, and also heated up the seaweed soup my mom made for me. It's a Korean thing to have seaweed soup on the morning of your birthday because it's what pregnant mothers ate to replenish their exhausted bodies. It's so much of an ingrained practice that asking somebody if they've eaten seaweed soup is synonymous to wishing them happy birthday. And even though things were rough between the two of us this last half year, I feel nature is healing and mending its I appreciate the ways she's trying and I'm hoping that this day next year things will be even better Turning 25, it's hard for me to comprehend that I'm halfway through my 20s I'm officially a quarter century years old and though it feels so cliche It feels like things went by so fast at the same time So much has happened and I'm proud of where I am today feeling incredibly grateful that I'm sharing the day with the person I love pursuing my passion as my career time seems to fly when you're having fun and even when you're not I'm all the years of good and bad experience Experiences that I have as an arsenal for my future self to fight through this weird concept called life. Leaving rest aside, I go on with my day running errands, I'm visiting the kitchen utensil shops in Pangsam Market, doing market research on my budget for my big new project next year. Hopefully being able to welcome you all in a different space. I can't wait to share the news properly soon, but for now, this is a little teaser to it. I ate black bean noodles and fried rice in a tiny hole in the wall place that cost $3 each for lunch and looked around more and got a hot fish cake at a street stand and a Korean donut as snack. It was snowing a lot today and Seoul looked even more beautiful than I remembered. I love my city and I'm happy I made the choice to be here. I'm opening the special bottle of red wine and Kevin made steak and frites with Brunei sauce as per my birthday dinner request. Nothing was out of the ordinary but a great one. Yesterday I was 24 and today 